Hello creative designers and welcome out to this story. My name is Peter. Head on to this story. We're just going to see how we can be able to add a WooCommerce custom order status with bulk edit and to have this is how it's gonna look. To have this uh, filter here and it also have on this drop down, you're just going to add this custom but to be custom status here and uh, once once you just select you can just send maybe it say mark paid and i can just select all of them and we just that i just mark them as paid and you can just see we have just added a status on and on the customer end whenever they just try to uh to track the order on refresh here it will just update on the customer's end and the other thing is that you can be able to have as many uh filter here you can just set like for this one you say is bedding delivery and you can just do it like that and you can be able to update either of them just like that when you just come to now uh, on the order order add here you see you can just add a new order here and we just want to add you have these different custom order status here which you can be able to select when just creating an order that's the tutorial for today and without further ado let's just get into action and i'll show you how so the first thing you just need to do we need to get the dashboard and on the dashboard menu we need to hover on the plugin and on hover you have we have these three, three options select the select the second one because we need to install a new plugin that will facilitate for us to add this code generally the code is supposed to be added in the function dot the php path easy and the simplest way to do it is using this so uh what you just need to do is come here and search for code snippet here we have it, it is called code snippet by code snippet pro more than 600,000 active installation last updated three weeks ago just click uh install and remember to activate I already have it i have already have it in installed in my website so what i just need to do is on the dashboard menu now we, here we have the button for snippet on hofer we have all these other options you can just select uh all snippet if you want to see all those snippets that you have but the one you just need to do is we just create a new one and let me just give it a simple name here so i call it whocommerce bulk order status we fit the list so what you just need to do Use the link on the description is the first link on the description to just get the code i'll just add the code you find it there so here you have the code so i just all i just need to do is just copy the code once i once i just copy the code all i just need to do is i paste it here we have the code so you have to paste it like that it's just a very simple one yeah the one the first line the first few sec the first section here the uh, just one that say name the order status when you just come here and uh, this order status has been given a new name here the other section here is to add a bulk edit drop down here this drop down here we have just added uh, the custom the custom uh, status the other thing the other section here is we add the filter on the menu this one filter here the one that is uh that is uh that's come on this end here so what you just need to do is we just save the changes so with that we have just saved and we have just activated and with that we have just added the drop down and all that what if we just want to change on the drop down or what if we just want to rename either of it so you just have to maybe for this order completed you can just say order received here yeah. and also we had the one that was here and we say order received like that and once you just update let me just open here on another page here and i just go to the dashboard so here we have the custom orders here we have the orders so we just need to see the status if it has changed so you see the one that is completed now change the status to order received and you also have what received here and mark order has received we have not changed the drop down but if you want to change for the drop down what you just need to do is you come and change this word here yes very simple 
where you can just be able to customize or just change uh, the name or the status. Remember to change for the filter menu here so that it can work very well with that. So what you just need to do now is we just have one new order. So let me just get the users which I have just added for the purpose of the demo. I only have admin, so let me just add a uh, customer. So I just add user and let me just demo mail that I just add the user. So we are going to give the user a new a new order and we're just going to see if all those features are going to work as well. So I just open in an incognito window and I just say, I just, what I just need to do is I need to log into the dashboard. Let me just log in. So from here, you see, we don't have an order already. We don't have an order. So I just need to go to the store and I can press an order and you can just see all the step if they're working. So I just need to add this anchor bracelet. I add it to the cart. And I can just select another one here, product. And I can add it, I can add it to the cart. So with that, we have the cart, which is ready. So I can proceed. We have the, either the local and all that, local pickup and all that. So you can just select. Customer, you just need to select the flexible for them. So I just need to fill in the name here. And with that, all I just need to do is a prison order. So I need to fill in some information there. So uh, on my site, I don't have any valid payment method. So I just need to go to the setting here and I just add payment and I activate cash on delivery. I also did a tutorial on how you can be able to change this cash on delivery to something like invoice payment. I include the link in the description. You can consider checking it out. Checking it out. It's a very helpful tutorial. So once I just have added a method of payment, so I need just go back here and I can refresh here. So I just press an order. So let's see the email. So now we can be able to see, uh, here we have it. Uh, you can see it will be a way of, uh, product cash and delivery and all that. So we have an order now we can be, we can use to uh to check the status so i just come back here and i need to go home do you have a tracking order so i just go back to my account here and i can just go to my orders and you see the order status is paid and you can be able to view your order from here is currently paid so we can let's now change the order status Let's come back here and go to orders, WooCommerce and select orders here. Now we have this one that has been paid here. Uh, let's get it one minute ago. And we can be, we can change and say paid in delivery and just update. So we can come back here and we refresh the order and we refresh the page here. And you see it's a paid in delivery. So that's how you can be able to add or that. So if you want to customize, remember, I just showed you how you can be able to customize the code and all that. But that's the tutorial for today. I hope you did learn something out of this tutorial. If you did learn something out of this tutorial, hit the thumbs up. Until next time, thank you.